If you have been shopping for a new car or even a used car, you probably noticed that the prices are way higher than normal. Data shows that the average price of a used car has climbed to over $25,000, which is $5,000 more than what it was a year ago. What's even crazier is that with some models, their current price tag as a used car is higher than what they were if you would have bought it new. Crazy, right? So why are automobile prices so outrageously high right now? Well, we might have some ideas. How's it going everyone? My name is Zoli with Strategic Wealth Designers and if you've been in the market for a new ride, safe to say it hasn't been a fun market to get into. New and used car prices have skyrocketed in summer and people are wondering why? Well, there are a few reasons why we think this has been the case for the past few weeks. First up, it's simple economics, supply and demand. Right now, there's a huge demand for used cars. As tourism is surging back after a year of quarantine, rental companies are looking into buying used cars to replenish their supply after a slow year in 2020. That, in addition to the fact that the price for new cars are extremely high, are the main reasons to why people are resorting to buying used cars. But this is like a domino effect, because now you're asking, what's driving up the price for new cars? And once again, we talk about supply and demand. However, this time, there is a reason to why there's more demand than supply. Currently, dealerships are dealing with a record low in inventory when it comes to new cars due to multiple reasons. Number one, as mentioned before, we're still dealing with the aftermath of the pandemic and vehicle manufacturers are trying to catch up with all of the cars they weren't able to produce during the lockdown. Number two, there's a massive microchip shortage that's hitting the automobile industry pretty hard. If you didn't know, modern cars require hundreds of microchips to be able to function and right now, the existing chips are being allocated to other industries, most specifically the tech and electronic industry. During the pandemic, the demand for PCs and gaming systems got a boost as more people were staying home, therefore more chips were produced for that reason rather than for cars. In conclusion, if you don't have an immediate need to purchase a new car, it might not be a bad idea to wait. Meanwhile, if you think this is a good opportunity to buy low on the stock of some automobile manufacturers, well, it depends on what your goals are. Our financial advisors would love to talk to you about it, so if you want to schedule an appointment, feel free to visit our website at swdgroup.com. And lastly, for more educational content just like this, tap on that subscribe button so you'll be in the know for our next video. Thanks guys.